Hey everyone and welcome back to another Dropified video training tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how you can change your WooCommerce store name as well as give you the guide on how to map a new domain name to your store if you want to rebrand and just link a brand new domain name. So let's get started. So if you're rebranding your store and you want to change the store's name, you're going to have to go into the left hand menu, skip WooCommerce, go all the way down to the bottom of the list that says settings. Go to general, the pop-out menu, and then here you can change the site's title. So I'm going to change mine to Great Products Delivered. So then once we're done and we're happy with our name, we can save our changes. So just like that, we've changed our store name. But that's not going to change the URL that we had before. So when we set up our original account with our uncommon now name, this is the URL we got. So changing our site title isn't going to change the domain name. That's just not how it works. So you need to go and buy a new domain name or register one with WooCommerce so you can start using one. But how do you do that? Well, WordPress has a very good tutorial on how to do it. They will teach you how to either set one up with them or how to transfer your existing domain to their servers, or you can map your domain to your site without having to transfer it and change all the billing and stuff like that. So they have this handy guide, which I'll link in the description, on how to do this. So this is going to be a domain you already own. It's called domain mapping, where you map your domain to your store. So if you scroll down a little bit, this is going to be a step-by-step -step guide on how to actually do it. And it takes a little bit of getting used to, but this is going to be in your domain side of things. This is going to be all in WordPress. So if you just follow the steps one by one, you can make sure this all works. And again, this is going to be linked in the description, so that way you can have access to it very easily. And that is that. So a lot of videos I've seen just totally skip the part about changing your domain name when you want to rebrand your store. And just changing your store name isn't super helpful because it doesn't really solve the problem when you're rebranding. So I wanted to address that you have to do that. But besides that, that's been it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video and found it helpful, please leave a like on it. If you never want to miss a video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell icon to make sure you're notified of every single upload that we do. Lastly, if you got any requests for videos or even questions, just leave them in the comments down below. We'd be happy to help you out. And besides that, have a great rest of your day.